Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for the next 10 days. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your recent past, your current energy in the near future, and then we're gonna clarify and get some cards from the universe for you. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you will consider subscribing, hitting that like button, all that good stuff. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys. Happy new moon. Today is the new moon, so a lot of energies are going to shift. We're coming to the end of Mercury Retrograde, which is probably going to be a big relief for a lot of people. And let's see what's going on in your overall energy. So we have the Four of Swords in reverse. Uh, it's a good sign. It's coming out of a resting period. Um, a lot of people are. Mercury Retrograde definitely puts us in a place where we feel like things are a little bit slow or backwards or, you know, that five-step forward, four-step back type of energy. And in this case, I feel like you're coming out of that place, a lot of thinking. You probably had to do a lot of thinking through some things going on in your life. We'll see when we clarify that. So in the recent past, we have the Four of Cups. <clears throat> so there's something to do with either there's an offer coming in. Um, this could be an offer of love. This could be also someone who's apologizing. There's a lot of things that could come up with this that you had to think through. Now, let's see what comes next. We have the Four of Pentacles. Now, you may be holding tightly onto what you believe about what this person's saying to you and truly standing your ground because the Four of Pentacles is about an energy of almost immov uh, immovability. I don't even know if that's a word. It's, it's like you're saying, listen, this is my belief system and I'm holding on to it. And if you don't agree with it, that's just too bad. The hangman in the reverse tells me that something that you had learned while you were kind of dangling because the four swords in reverse and the hangman in reverse are basically coming out of a place where you're thinking, thing th thinking things through and also having some enlightenment around something. And I think you're just holding on tightly to what you believe. So whether this person's offer is not exciting to you or there's something about it that you're not sure about, I definitely think that you're standing your ground when it comes to how you feel about it. Let's see what we get in the current energy. So we have three of swords. Sorry if you just saw me swipe. There's like a gnat. We have the three of swords in reverse with the hermit. Okay, there you are in your energy, having gone within, and the eight of swords. So when we have the three of swords right above the hermit and then the eight of swords, I think there's a recognition of how some of the pains of the past or even the things that people have done and even the people that are trying to apologize, you're thinking about that and trying to process that energy probably kept you stuck. So the hangman in reverse was telling you that you were enlightened about something coming out of an energy of needing to understand something better. And the hermit tells me, that yes, you're reflecting back on that. You have a better understanding of probably the things that have hurt and why they've held you back or felt like they were holding you back and a feeling of still being a little bit stuck. But I think you understand it better. It isn't just about going within with the hermit. He's shining a light on specific things. And I think that's what you're doing. You're having a better understanding of why you were feeling trapped in something and <clears throat> understanding that your values are important. And if other people don't understand that, that's okay. And whether you're willing to accept an apology or an offer of love or whatever it is, you may have already healed from something. So could it be somebody from the past that maybe popped up and you recognize that, no, I've been through this. I've been down this path and all it did was hurt me and cause me to feel trapped and stuck mentally. Um, in a place of overthinking, and I don't want to be back in that place. Let's see what the near future. We have judgment. Good. So you're making a choice. Five of pentacles. You've already walked away from something. You've definitely left something behind. So there was something that you were healing from. You definitely recognize how and why you felt the way that you did. 
And I think you're just moving forward and you're allowing yourself to get beyond it and work through it, period. All right, so we have the Five of Swords. If there was any kind of inner conflict, for example, if you were questioning what part you played, we all play a part in why things do and don't work out in our lives. But in this case, I feel like you've actually relieved yourself of thinking that maybe there was something that you had done. Why we get in that place where we stay stuck in our head can be really frustrating and hard to overcome. But that inner conflict has been worked through. It's almost like you're freeing yourself from these thought processes as well. So if, if there was a little bit of a, a negative mindset or you just couldn't break free of the thoughts about something that didn't work out, something that had hurt you, I think the near future is telling you, you're finally going to be releasing this energy. So let's see what your challenge is. So we have the seven of cups in reverse. So it can allude to being confused and also feeling like there aren't any other options out there. When we're in something we can have that feeling of, is there anything better out there for me? Whether it's a relationship, a job, or whatever it is that you feel stuck in or you did feel stuck in. I think for you it was, I don't know if there's anything better out there. or What are the options going to be? Is the grass really greener on the other side? So it may be challenging for you to see how things are going to open up for you. And that's why it's in reverse for now. All right, let's go ahead and clarify with the Four of Swords in reverse. So we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, which just says that at the time you didn't have the clarity and that's what you were looking for. A better understanding of why you felt either trapped or stuck or even why you believe the things that you believe. But I think you're finally realizing that where you stand strong is what's important to you and what other people's belief systems aren't. Just because somebody says they're sorry doesn't mean that that's okay with you, if that makes sense. So let's see, there's the four swords in the upright. Okay, so you go from a place of coming out of this energy of like, oh, I, I can't take this anymore. I, I'm overthinking to... I can take a rest from that now. I think I've made the right decisions. Even if I'm not fully clear on why something had to, to happen or why it occurred, I'm going to take what I know is true for me and step away from this. So this offer is still going to be coming in or somebody did come back around and wanted that from you, wanted to either draw you back in or confuse you about the choices that you were making, something of that sort. It feels very convoluted. It's almost kind of foggy in my mind. The Four of Cups with the Four of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Cups, which is a great indication. Yes, I am resolving this. I am recognizing that I have to leave some of these emotions, these thought processes, something that's creating my inability to push forward and start looking into a new horizon. And also with that at the same time, holding on to what I believe is true. So the Eight of Cups with the Hangman in Reverse, we have Temperance, which is kind of a freeing energy. It's a very floaty, yes, it's about patience, which of course we have to have with ourselves the best we can. Um, Sagittarius energy, so you could have been dealing with that, or another Virgo. We have Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini as well. So with the Temperance and saying, I feel like they're trying to say, not me, that you need to be in this place of forgiveness of yourself for the time that it may have taken for you to recognize what was happening and why it was keeping you stuck in your head or why you thought you couldn't overcome a situation. So the three of swords with the hermit, we have the hermit in reverse, which is great because it says you're going from this place to reversing that, meaning coming out of a stage of hurt and pain, healing, not feeling stuck anymore, the Hermit with the Eight of Swords. We have the Page of Wands. And right now in the current energy, you may not feel like you see exactly what this is all leading to. What is this going to mean for you? For some of you, if this was a partnership that you had to get out of, you had to heal from, some of you may not be ready to open up and be in something new. Same is with a job. If something was really disappointing to you and you're disheartened, maybe you felt stuck, 
you had to go back within and ask yourself, what is this? Why do I feel so stuck here? I have certain values that I know I want to stand by, but how do I then push forward? And it can be a little bit scary to take a step. So you may not have that clarity just yet or know how to move forward or how to take the next step. But in the future, here in the near future, you're going to. So your prayers are being heard. Absolutely, that's what judgment can be. But something is definitely, the understanding that something is already there and available to you is what I think you have a better understanding of. Meaning you've set this, intention in motion. You walked away from something that was no longer serving you. You no longer are going to allow the inner conflict to supersede your ability to trust and believe that one, miracles are possible, and two, that you can heal and get beyond something and that there are other options out there that can create happiness. As long as you stand firm in what you believe and you know your value, then yes, you can move beyond those things. So you're coming out of a place of feeling stuck in that energy, maybe even questioning whether you had what it took to move beyond. If that's in a job situation and in a relationship, feeling like it's never, ever going to be done, like you can't get out of your head about it. I think you're working through that. You're finally going to have that breakthrough. So judgment with the five of pentacles, we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. See, that's where the challenge can come in because when we walk away from one thing, hope and faith and praying that things are going to work out is of course where we go. But if we have that belief system or we haven't had any experiences that have shown us that things are going to work out after something difficult, then yes, that's what creates that inner conflict. And I think that's where you you are is that just because something didn't work out in the past doesn't mean something in the future isn't going to work. It's having that faith and trusting that you're being heard and your team is guiding you in the right direction. So the five of pentacles with the five of swords, we have the seven of swords in reverse. This is a hyper awareness of people who don't mean well and also of yourself and not kicking yourself in the butt for having made, made choices that you did. You've learned something valuable from every experience that you've had thus far. And I think you recognize that. I think we all do at some point in our lives say, okay, I can't focus on where I was stuck or what didn't work out. I know now what to look for and I won't make the same mistake twice. So the seven of cups being your challenge, we then have the ace of pentacles. So it's like I said, there's something about this, either a fear or or a belief that things aren't going to move forward. And I think it's you just standing your ground, standing your ground and knowing and pushing through whatever's been keeping you stuck, whether it's your thought processes or old hurts and pains that never felt like they were going to be overcome. Here is the challenge saying you don't believe that there can be a new beginning. Um, for some of you, if you've lost some money, or money had been difficult for a period of time, there may have been this feeling like, is it ever going to change? Is something going to shift? To me, when they put this in your challenge, it's saying, this is what we're trying to bring in for you. So it is a new opportunity in work for some of you that have been hanging in there tight, even when you didn't really like something, something new is finally going to open up, probably with this new moon. And there will be much more available to you, more options, and also in love as well. If for any reason you've had difficulty opening yourself up to being in a, a new relationship. Okay, let's get some advice from Spirit. This is for Virgo. Okay, so the King of Swords is in reverse, is paying attention to the people whose vibes you don't trust. And there could be somebody around you that you're going to have to be aware of that isn't telling you the truth, or you're recognizing now that somebody wasn't being honest with you. And that may be why the apology is unacceptable, because they were just some lies. And it hurts when people lie to us. We don't, obviously, none of us want to experience that with someone but I think this is you recognizing the dishonesty in someone. Someone led you on or told you that things were going to be better than they actually turned out. It's deceit. 
So their advice to you is to be very, very aware. Like I said, you're going to be hyper aware of people who don't have good intentions. That's something that I would say from this point on, you're definite, it's going to be high on your radar. You're definitely going to be more focused on paying attention to the energy of those types of people. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles where things don't move. If somebody is immovable, meaning you can tell that there is just not some coming together, a meeting of the minds. That's your signal. So their advice is when you see that somebody's not being honest and things aren't moving forward, that it's time. It's time for you to open up to what's next. And then we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Again, it's an indication that where people don't communicate well or things haven't moved forward or there hasn't been honesty or there's been a lot of secrecy and you've felt this deeply is to pay attention to those signals. And then last, we have the hangman in reverse is to allow yourself to come out of that place of feeling like you're just kind of dangling in the wind and taking charge, really taking charge of what it is that you want to create next. All right, let's get one more card here. We have the queen of swords in reverse. You've got to be really, truly honest with yourself about what you want. So this is about being honest with yourself, where in areas, uh, king and queen are here of swords. So if there are two people, maybe a part of you wasn't being honest about how you felt, or maybe you weren't able to speak up uh, if you didn't trust a situation, and they want you to come out of that space of feeling stuck and try to find a way to speak your truth. With the seven of cups and the ace of pentacles, we have the four of pentacles, this is letting go of some things, some old belief systems. It's challenging for you to let go of that. For example, if you were raised in a family that believed that the only way to ever achieve success was you have to do it exactly this way and these are the steps. Well, for a lot of you that are listening to this, we're breaking open and breaking away from a system that believed this is only one way to do it, whether it be in love family, how we do relationships, and how we work today. So a lot of you are releasing that because you want to either step off onto your your new path and want to be your own boss, for example, or you're, you're breaking free of the old pains connected to those belief systems and how that felt to you. Something really big about you breaking free from old systems. I feel like I've said this to you before in a couple of your videos not allowing people to hold you to a certain standard that doesn't resonate with you. A message for you. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. For some of you, that is a, a crossover loved one. That in the first person that you thought of, for a lot of people, that is usually a grandmother energy or it could just be somebody close to you. I don't feel like this is someone from your past or a, a lost love. We're always going to have love for the other souls, even when they've been difficult relationships, because you had a contract with that person. So there's always love still there between souls. We don't recognize that until we cross back over. Friendship, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. For those of you that have been in a situation where somebody has lied and you contemplated moving away from them or walking away, or at least trying to disconnect from the emotions of something that was difficult. For example, a partner that lied. It can really, really, really open your relationship up if you try to focus on that aspect of things. If the communication was bad and the two of you hadn't really tried to understand each other, it takes a lot of patience to be in partnerships. And the friendship aspect is going to be important. I think Virgos of all people value that deeply in their relationships. So freedom, there's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So what they're saying is you're being freed. That eight of swords energy where you were feeling stuck or maybe held back and realizing that you're actually not. So something's opening up for you because that freedom card doesn't always come out. So be aware of that. And then we have life as a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. And that's a lot of what I was talking about with those old thought processes, the old conditioning beliefs, is that things are going to shift. And if something isn't consistent or doesn't look the way that your parents told you it should, it doesn't mean that things are wrong in your life. 
try to go with the flow. That's where we are in energy today is doing the best that we can to have faith that things will always work out, even if it doesn't look the way we, we thought it should or the way we were taught it should. Let me get one more. Sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Uh, that could be for those of you that are wanting to work through a problem with a person and you want to reconnect and you want to deeply connect intimately. Um, it isn't always through that. It can be in other ways, but that tends to bond people together. If they're really wanting to connect with their partner, it's very important in your relationships. Okay, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. This is for Virgo. Unfinished Symphony. So remember I said there's there's that energy of somebody wanting to come around, but I think for you this is an ending and a new beginning. So whether it be that you forgive and you move on or that you're ready to, to create something brand new, you're ready to break through from those those old systems and move forward. So very much endings and new beginnings with this new moon. There's that go with the flow energy. So twice now you've been given cards, one that said it and one that also means basically the same thing for me. So you could be born on the 10th or the 7th. Sorry, that's validation truck going by. And then we have never ending story. This is also a 10. So whatever seemed to be repeating or something that you felt stuck in, that never ending story, that's what's coming to an end. It's a good sign that things are really starting to shift and move and take off. You could be 37, born on the 3rd, the 7th, or the 10th. So the 10th and the 7th, if you're born on those days, a lot of these messages are probably going to um, make sense for you. And then we have happy, happy. Favorite card, love it. There's two cards in this deck that represent just really great outcomes. You could be 26, born on the 2nd, the 6th, or the 8th. Happy, happy is, to me, a sign that through these difficult things, you are about to experience something really, really joyful. And there's a star on that card. It's a beautiful card. That's a wish come true. So something that you had been wishing for, judgment, they're holding their hands up saying, please, you know, I'm praying for this. I want help. I, I always think of the Red Cross meaning something that's there to to support you and whatever, you know, the actual meaning of what that's supposed to be, which is support. Support from your angels to make your wishes come true and try to keep an open mind and believe that these new things can come in after feeling like you were stuck for a period of time. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. Please hit that like button on your way out. And if you would like a personal reading, again, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing 10 days, sending you a ton of love, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.